Yes, if you do that, you will be established in something greater than what you could do on your own. The Holy Ghost is God Holy in Ghost the earth God today. In the earth today. And you walk with him by Holy saying Ghost words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. The if is this is your first time on. here, make Jesus sure you subscribe. Right. If this isn't your first time here and these messages Ghost are blessing God you, the then consider becoming a partner with us. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth. Just a quick question here to establish where we are. Are you on the earth? Yes. yes. Oh, oh, good, me too. Well, he said, oh, look at this prince of the kings of the earth hmm verse 6 and hath made us kings and priests kings and priests who hath he made us and hath made us kings and priests unto god and the father you see that mm -hmm. to whom be glory and dominion forever and ever so we got dominion there and kings and priests are usually those who are put in dominion over something right yes. wouldn't be much of a king if you didn't have dominion over something mm -hmm. i have a statement to make the leisure class as a whole comprises the noble and priestly classes together with much of their retinue retinue means retained attendance those people that attend to the kings and the priests are part of the same class with the kings and the priests mm -hmm. we've heard of retaining a lawyer hopefully you haven't had to do that too much but that means that lawyer is available to you whenever you needed them because you've retained them to help you mm -hmm. Now, is being a lawyer, is that some kind of a low-paying job or something? Or does that have some esteem all of its own? Mm -hmm. So it's not an underclass. It's a class that's part of that leisure class. Say leisure class. Leisure class. As part of their retinue. Mm -hmm. Now, I will be defining much of that statement as we go along here but for now just let that wash over you deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18 thou shalt remember the lord thy god for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth is this true mm -hmm. or is this not true? Yeah, it's true it's up to you whether this is true or not true i say it's true I say it's true. Mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13. We, having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed. Right? We believed that that was true. God gives me power to get wealth. We, having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed and therefore have i spoken we also believe and therefore speak and if we do something then we have this if we don't do something then we're not part of the we not we so i say it's true i say deuteronomy 8 18 is true to me are you here that's that's the same spirit of faith lamentations chapter 3 and verse 37 who is he that saith and it cometh to pass when the lord commanded it not who is he that saith and it comes to pass that's me yeah. because the lord has commanded it 
Do you see this? Oh, if the Lord commanded it, commandeth it not, but he did command it. He already said his promises. So when it says, who is he that saith, and it comes to pass, that's me. Say, that's me. That's me. This puts you in the kingly and priestly classes what I like to talk about as a leisure class yeah. it's a class above who is he that saith and it comes to pass that's me my work on earth is to speak the Word of God with as much accuracy and as much belief as possible we believe and speak we speak and believe we speak we believe we believe we speak this is our work as a leisure class person as a king and a priest on the earth grace is free but faith is not there's a work of faith Colossians chapter 4 and verse 4 that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak may make is work you are making it something you are doing the work of making it manifest how's he do it as he ought to speak as accurately as possible and as with much belief as possible so I repeat my work on earth is to speak God's Word I make it so I say it so it's my priestly duty it's my kingly duty it is how listen it is how I take my place in the leisure class you don't say I do say I call all of my partners part of this leisure class the blessing of the Lord of Spirits is on them they are made rich with no sorrow added I call their youth renewed to before sickness happened to before decay happened Amen. to the before time I speak this I make it manifest yeah. the words I say make it manifest mm -hmm. as I ought to speak now you may not want this and I suggest to you then that you go someplace else <laughs> because I am actively calling this for you my partners my members my retinue this is your calling with me the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today and if you're gonna walk with God it will be with him and it will be by speaking in agreement with his word as accurately as possible and with this with as much belief as possible yeah. this is the spirit of faith Luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve do you see that word only in there yes it would be really convenient for most people if that word only didn't exist but it does exist and it's right there thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve who is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today Holy who is the only part of the Godhead in the earth that you can serve Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost who is the only part of the Godhead in the earth that you can worship Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. he's the only one here mm -hmm. if you're gonna worship God in the earth it will be the Holy Ghost yes. are you here yes. and I know I say this and I say it a lot but again let it wash over you sometimes you don't get it the first time you got to hear it and hear it and hear it and hear it and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. 
you're in a different place you weren't before in the only is everything in the only is everything well here you've got thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve only is right in between the worship and the service i could say this is the only religion worshiping god and him only serving worshiping god and him only serving but this is different than what you used to do or what you might have been used to doing a different spirit of faith you could say speaking and believing believing and speaking a different spirit of faith with a proficiency of a different kind it's a spirit of faith with a proficiency of a different kind it does something that the others don't do it has a different kind it's proficient in doing something that other things won't do i testify to this mm -hmm. when i'm speaking and believing in agreement with god who is a spirit there's a proficiency there of a different kind a different kind a different class which is where we get the word kind from right mm -hmm. humankind it's a kind it's a class a different class of believer is this fun yet mm -hmm. you want to be in a different class of believer this is what i'm talking about it's the leisure class it's a class above i've spent plenty of time in the lower class and it wasn't any fun daniel chapter 7 and verse 27 and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven where is that the earth, the earth. we've already established that's where we are and here it says the kingdom dominion the greatness of the whole kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high god people of the saints the retinue mm -hmm. the people of the saints of the most high god all of this is going to be given to them this class of people a leisure class because because they're saying things can you understand that yeah. we're really talking about speaking God's Word and being in a different class by saying and speaking in agreement with God's Word is this okay yeah. the kingdom dominion greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to who mm -hmm. the people of the Saints that class of people their people yeah. have your people call my people mm -hmm. verse 28 hitherto is the end of the matter that's how it ends yeah. how should it end verse 28 hitherto is the end of the matter daniel chapter 11 verse 32 but the people say the people, the people. so it's a specific group of people the people that do know their god shall be strong and do exploits they shall be and do who shall be and do the people that do know their god who knows their god who is god in the earth today you know who he is mm -hmm. and if he is god you worship him thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits how are these exploits going to be do done speaking why would it be any other way welcome Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18 remember it says but thou shalt remember the lord thy god who the holy ghost for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth so we have we know this holy ghost as one who gives me mm -hmm. power to get wealth gives you power to get wealth 
are you here remember how he started out this way now look at this go back up to verse 17 Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 17 and thou say in thine heart my power and the might of mine hand has gotten me this wealth are you supposed to say that no, no. entering into this leisure class I'm trying to make a point here he says it's not the power of my hands that got me this wealth but God gives me power to get wealth power of my hands or God giving me power to get wealth and we're supposed to say it is God that gives us power to get wealth words speaking words the words of God is what does the work for you as a leisure class person words doing work for you that you couldn't do on your own my words work for me my words go out and do things for me that I couldn't do on my own with just the work of my hands are you here mm -hmm. and this speaking his words is what establishes you in the greater the greater society the leisure class let his spoken words establish you in the things said seems like you're trying to get people to speak the Word of God and believe the Word of God and believe the Word of God and speak the Word of God yes if you do that you will be established in something greater than what you could do on your own that puts you in a different category puts you in a different kind puts you in a different class mm -hmm. kingly priestly mm -hmm. Romans chapter 8 verse 19 for the earnest expectation of the creature or literally some translations say creation all of creation the earnest expectation of creation waits for wait for it wait for it waits for the what manifestation of the sons of God what manifestation that we may speak that we may make it manifest as we ought to speak it's waiting for you to start speaking in a way that makes it manifest are you here all creation awaits for the manifestation of you speaking you manifest in this leisure society this new class of being that speaks and has it come to pass mm -hmm. but you have to start where you're at can't start anywhere else you start where you're at and then be faithful to do the work and what is the work speaking in agreement with God more accurately and with greater faith with greater belief I believe in the eternal now eternity doesn't happen later eternity is now mm -hmm. you have everlasting life now when your physical body dies you just you just leave it you're you're alive now forevermore mm -hmm. get it working now don't put it things off until well you know the eternal by and by I believe in the eternal now you are in eternity now and that could be life-changing to a lot of people you are in eternity now you got to start where you're at Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 and we know again here we've got a we that knows something which would indicate that these that know something are different than those that don't know it mm -hmm. we know something we know that all things all creation we were just talking about that all creation works together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose I love God the Holy Ghost 
i'm in eternity now he's in eternity with me jesus said he'd send the holy ghost and the holy ghost would be with you forever we know that all things work together for good for us all things become retained attendance all things work together for good for you are you here yes. are you beginning to see this mm -hmm. all things work together for good for you all of them are your servants all the things all creation is waiting for the manifestation of you so that they can come into the glory that you are beginning to walk in holy ghost i thank you that this glory is beginning to shine on people that have heard this message and they're beginning to know how to walk with you in eternity now not putting everything off to the sweet by and by we thank you for it holy ghost that your glory will certainly cover this earth as the waters cover the sea and we are a big part of it and i worship you in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you you are the living god and i live with you i am your servant and i attend to you i'm part of your retinue in jesus name amen